Hey everyone. Hey, last week I introduced you to three of the most adorable little robin chicks that had hatched and were growing up in a nest right outside my front door. Um, today I'd like to give you an update on those cuties. Um, and I, I want you to know too that I named them. Now I don't know boy birds from girl birds, so I had to give them androgynous names. Now here's a photograph I took of them recently. So let me see, this one is Drumstick. Uh, this is Wishbone. And this feisty little fella, I called him B-Dub. So let's, let's check up on him, see how they're doing. I haven't seen the mother in a while. Let's see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where could they have gone? Where could three adorable, succulent, delicious little robin chicks have gone? Well, I'll tell you. I came up with the best recipe for robin chicks with rosemary and garlic. And look at this. Listen to that crackling sound. Uh, I can't wait. I've got my plate all set here. And we're going to enjoy this together. I even have some wine poured right here. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, there's, there's drumstick. Ooh, B-dub. And, and wishbone. Let's see. Let's see what wishbone. Mm. Oh man, Gordon Ramsay has nothing on me. These are delicious. Oh, I can't wait. And it was so easy. I told you, the mother does all the work, right? She lays the eggs, she cooks them. I'm not, I cook them, but the mother lays the eggs, she feeds them, she gives them water. All I have to do is pull them out of the nest, chop their heads off, pull the feathers off and saute them for just a little while, just a little while, because they're small. You don't want to overcook them. And before you know it, you've got yourself a delicious appetizer. So remember, remember, the key to this is you don't have to live in the woods or on a farm to live off the land. And I've always believed in sustainable nest-to-table farming. So... Bon appetit.